The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Uh, we're, we're live now. Great. Hi, everyone. Welcome. We're going to give it a few minutes while people come in before we get started. with the section of chronic disease prevention and health promotion. We created our sections webinar series to provide a way to share our projects and explore how we can work together. I have a few housekeeping items to review. If you are listening by phone, please keep your phone on mute. Please do not put this call on hold. If you receive a call, please hang up and call back in later. This webinar is planned for 30 minutes, a 20-minute presentation followed by 10 minutes of questions and answers. A recording of today's webinar, including all videos, will be sent to all participants, and the slides will be made available online. Audio for this webinar will come through your computer. Another option is to call the number provided when you registered for today's session. Please hold all questions until the end. If, however, you are having trouble hearing or seeing the slides, please let me know right away through the chat or questions box. If you do have trouble hearing any of the videos, please keep in mind these will be provided at the end of the webinar. To ask a question at the end, you can type it into the chat box on your control panel where it says enter a question for staff. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be turning off my video for the audio part of this presentation. Before we begin, I'd like to share a land acknowledgement. I want to acknowledge that this work is done on traditional Denina land whose original people are the Denina Athabascan people, one of Alaska's many distinct and diverse indigenous groups. Generations of indigenous native Alaskans created the Alaska that sustains us today. It is my hope that our public health work in Alaska will ensure their ability to thrive in their traditional homeland. The webinar today provides an update on our newest public education campaign focusing on youth and young adults called Not Buying It. We started building this campaign in 2017 to address rising e-cigarette use in young people across Alaska. 
This campaign is based on the concept of not buying it to encourage Alaska teens to look at the information they're given and question the truth behind it, especially when it is coming from an industry trying to profit off youth and sell things to young people. We run Not Buying It through the Alaska Department of Health and Social Services. We specifically manage it through our section's Tobacco Prevention and Control Program. We've had key partners that helped create and share our messages, like the Office of Substance Misuse and Addiction Prevention Marijuana Education Program and Rural CAPS Youth Encouraging Alaskans Health Teen Ambassadors. Our current focus is on reducing the number of young people who smoke e-cigarettes and providing information and resources to them. This campaign uses many available channels to reach young people. We've updated the campaign this year to include Live Vape Free resources, which provide education and support to parents and young people through online and texting programs. Our plans for the upcoming year are to continue preventing youth from starting tobacco products, including nicotine products like e-cigarettes, promoting quitting, and eliminating health inequities. What we mean by health inequities is some groups of Alaska youth have higher chances of disease and death from tobacco-related causes. We run this public education campaign year-round to support education and quitting. Our audience of focus is Alaska teens ages 13 through 19 and young adults ages 20 through 29. We use information from state and national surveys, social marketing behavior change theories, and local focus groups and message testing to inform and evaluate our messages. E-cigarette use among Alaska teens has increased rapidly with one out of four Alaska teens currently vaping in 2019. The long-term goal of the campaign is to reduce the number of young people starting to use tobacco products, including e-cigarettes, and provide young people the resources they need to quit. In Alaska, about one in four high school students currently use e-cigarettes. We know that most e-cigarettes contain nicotine, which harms brain development and leads to addiction. E-cigarette vapor also contains cancer-causing chemicals and heavy metals. There is emerging research that shows smoking e-cigarettes may be linked to increased chances for young people to get COVID-19, which may be because of increases in exposure through sharing devices and hand-to-mouth motions. We also know that smoking traditional cigarettes and e-cigarettes impacts our immune system, which is important for protecting our health. Quitting smoking or never beginning in the first place can protect young people from longer term infectious and chronic diseases. Not buying it shares educational materials many ways. We know that young people are watching TV on cable and online and spend a huge chunk of time on their phones, on social media sites like Instagram and Snapchat. We share educational messages across these platforms to increase the amount that young people see our messages. Our primary audience of focus is Alaska young people ages 13 through 29. We use research to inform and evaluate our work. Focus groups with parents and youth inform our messages and surveys track attitudes, knowledge, and beliefs of young people over time. For example, the Alaska Youth Risk Behavior Survey in 2019 asked teens about perceptions of harm for e-cigarettes versus traditional cigarettes. The survey found that teens viewed e-cigarettes as less harmful than traditional combustible cigarettes. We know that e-cigarettes are not harmless though. Nicotine in any form or amount is not safe for developing brains. So we updated our educational messaging to share the health harms of e-cigarettes, including lung damage, addiction, and harms to brain development.
The Marijuana Education Program held focus groups with teens and parents in 2020. We learned that teens care about what their friends and family think. We also learned about the types of marijuana messages that resonate with teens, like video games and social acceptance. We use what we learned from Alaska teens to create not buying messages that speak to young people in Alaska using the very themes they share with us. And we share them online where young people are sure to see them on websites they use like YouTube and social media platforms like Snapchat. The tobacco program held focus groups with parents across Alaska. We learned that parents also think using social media is an important strategy for reaching teens. We also heard that using teen priorities like social acceptance is important. Parents also shared trusted messengers of information with us, including the Department of Health, parents themselves, healthcare professionals, and adults like teachers and coaches. Parents emphasize the importance of educating parents as well, and most parents shared they are talking to their teens about using e-cigarettes. We used what we've learned from parents and teens to create messages for teens and parents that improve their understanding of the health harms of e-cigarettes and to share available resources for young people, their parents, and those concerned with the vaping epidemic. This included focusing on themes like health harms and freedom from addiction and sharing resources like a teen texting program, which uses interactive quizzes and videos to educate teens and provide them with support. The results of our findings informed the creation of short, high impact messages. We make a simple and clear message that focuses on the behavior we want, and then we share them on social media platforms like Snapchat. One technique we use in not buying it is starting with short, simple messages to share on social media and providing more information to young people who want to know more. We know that messages around health harms test well with young people. I'm going to share this new message that focuses on the lung health harms of smoking. This short video focuses in showing, not telling. The goal is to make our messages attractive to young people. Teens love video games. We created this public service announcement message that breaks down the health harms of e-cigarettes using visuals like gaming that are important to teens. Then we launched the Not Buying It website with more information to explain the message and provide resources. Parents and teens in Alaska shared in focus groups how important using social media channels like Snapchat and Instagram are to reach teens. We expanded our messages there. We have an Instagram page with the handle at notbuyingitak. We post to it weekly to ensure teens can receive shorter versions of our messages and share with other peers. We share visuals that test well with teens, like spending time with friends and Alaska-themed messaging and exploring the outdoors. We do the same on our Facebook page. We post to it weekly to make sure parents and young people can receive our messages and share with others. Alaska teens and their parents are online. We try to make sure our messages are being shared on the websites they visit most often. We know that young people may not realize they are addicted to nicotine products. 
And what's more, studies show that young people who use e-cigarettes have higher chances of starting to smoke traditional cigarettes. In this video we shared through our Facebook page, we focus on showing young people how addiction can look rather than telling them that nicotine is addictive. In this second video public service announcement that's also been added to our Facebook page, we show that Facebook is a successful way to reach young people. This video has over 21,000 views on our Facebook page alone. We want our messages to resonate with teens. Concepts like freedom from addiction and control speak to teens. This PSA message shows that con the control that nicotine can have over your life. Alaska teens are on websites. They're exploring online, and we want to make sure we're sharing messages on the pages that they are using. To share these messages online, we've created online formats. You'll see a message which rotates to other frames to share the entire message. Here's one we built to share a CDC message that one in three teens who smoke will die from a smoking-related illness. A hard-hitting message about health harms and video game imagery resonates with young people. This message is made to speak directly to teens about the risks of smoking. We try to reach our audience with both the words and visuals we use. Here's one we built to share messages about the dangers of e-cigarettes flavors. Our third online message uses social norms theory to share the message that most teens don't vape. We use simple words and images and left teens with a resource to help quit using vapes at the end. Many of our educational messages are short and easy to understand. We created the Not Buying It website this year for young people, families, and those concerned with the youth vaping epidemic to explain these messages further and provide accurate information and resources. We use interactive content that young people can use to explore information about tobacco products. Campaign materials include resources for teens, like an interactive texting program that provides help learning about vaping and includes fun activities and quizzes. We also include resources for parents, like the Live Vape Free Alaska program, which includes a toolkit for parents to support conversations with their teens about vaping. Many adults, like parents and educators, play an important role helping young people quit using tobacco products and prevent them from starting in the first place. That's why we also include resources for educators and community partners, like alternative to suspension models and training courses. Not Buying It can also be found on the Alaska Tobacco Prevention and Control Program publications and resources. 
not buying it resources are shared on print materials like flyers and fact sheets. This example is a fact sheet on suspension for tobacco products, including e-cigarettes, among Alaska high school students for schools and educators. Many of these resources are located on the Alaska Tobacco Prevention and Control Program website. We must make sure we're learning from our audience of focus to create messages and then make sure these messages are reaching our audience and leading to healthier changes. We evaluate our messages by understanding engagement with posts, enrollments in the Live Bait Free programs, and click-through rates for more information and resources. The Not Buying It Public Education Campaign is a component in the state's comprehensive tobacco control program, which has multiple community and state level interventions to decrease tobacco use. We wanna make sure these messages are contributing to improving knowledge and positive changes in health behaviors. Looking at various surveys helps us evaluate short and long-term behavior changes. There are many ways to engage with not buying it online. The main website is alaskaquitline.com slash not buying it. Not buying it also has a social media presence on Facebook and Instagram. Many of our resource messages and videos are located on our Facebook and Instagram pages. We appreciate you joining this webinar today. We appreciate your support sharing these messages. There are many ways you can engage and utilize these materials. You can share social media posts and videos with young people in your life. You can share parent resources. You can share our website. You can also like and follow the Facebook and Instagram pages. Please write down my email address here. It's nicole.peltzer at alaska.gov. Please email me with your requests and the best contact information for you. Let me know how I can help support your work reducing youth tobacco initiation and promoting quitting. Feel free to reach out to me for any questions in the future. Now I'd like to open it up and leave some time to answer your questions. Okay, it looks like we have a question. Um, the question is, how can schools and community partners use the Live Vape Free texting program? So these resources are really made to be shared with young people ages 13 to 17 to learn more about vaping and provide them as a resource to help young people learn more about vaping and support them. It's really an additional tool that educators, parents, community members can use during conversations around vaping with young people. Just a reminder, you can text VAPE FREE to 873-373 or share the Not Buying It website and social media pages with young people. We have a question. Um, do you have a curriculum for school presentations? I think at this time, we're promoting a few other programs. We have a few alternative to suspension programs like Not For Me that we're promoting, though we don't have a current Not Buying It curriculum. Christy, did you have anything you wanted to add about curriculums for school presentations? Um, hi, my name is Christy Knight, and I'm the program manager for the Tobacco Prevention and Control Program, and we provide technical assistance and training uh, through our community grants as well as the state office. So if you're seeking a presentation to inform uh, administrators and educators about e-cigarettes and curriculum available for schools, um, we're happy to help supply that material or send a, a grantee or a, a state employee to uh, provide that training directly. So please feel free to reach out. I'll put my email in the chat. Thank you, Christy. 
We also just got another question about tools for kids ages 9 through 11. So just to reiterate, the teen texting program is for ages 13 through 17, but all of our messages are appropriate for young people. So I would suggest sharing the messages. You can share the Not Buying It website. You can share the Not Buying It Facebook and Instagram page. And we also have resources on the Tobacco Prevention and Control website about alternative to suspension programs and additional resources that schools can use or parents can use to really talk to their to their kids and young people in their lives. Are there any other questions? Okay, we got one last question about sharing these slides and the webinar later. So yes, so the webinar is being recorded. So we're gonna be sharing the recording and the slides online after the presentation. Oh, I have another question about sharing which channels are performing well. So based on our evaluation, social media like Instagram and Snapchat have been the most successful strategies to reach young people across the state. Um, we also really rely on community partners to get these messages out. So schools and educators and parents have been some of our biggest support systems. All right, I don't see any more questions coming in, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up. Um, oh, sorry, I got one more question. So does Truth or any other national campaigns have good vaping resources you'd recommend as well? Definitely, so for anyone who's not familiar, the Truth Initiative is another nationwide campaign. Um, the, there's a few other campaigns as well. Um, these are playing in Alaska. So some of the federal campaigns share these information and resources. So you can definitely look at those to find more information and more messages you can share with young people. I know the big strength of our campaign though is we really try to tailor it to Alaska young people and make sure that the materials have the look and feel that resonate with teens here in our state. All right. Thank you guys for your attention. I'm, gonna, I'm excited, sorry, I'm having my barking dogs now. Um, we will be sharing the slides and the recording after. So thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone.